If you follow your intuition, you can never go wrong. Oh my big boy! Can you tell me why I'm okay guys? I am going to now set up this clothing rack. I mean, I feel like it should be simple since it's just a few pieces that I need to put together. At least I hope it will be simple. But we're gonna attempt to do this together. Hopefully this goes smoothly and only takes me like 10 minutes because I just really want to get this up. I will link this down below if you guys are wondering which one this is. So it's gonna look like that. So let's hope it ends up looking like that. Oh no, I don't need a screwdriver. Okay, let's go. What do I need first? The two big ones and the roundy one. Okay. Okay. Cute. Just, oh, sorry, Hershey. I'm probably scaring the shit out of my cat. Okay, I need to go get a screwdriver. I literally suck at this shit. <laughs> Joel? Yeah, it is asking me to screw it in, but this isn't like screwing in properly. Like, it's not... <clears throat> going in like this is supposed to be so easy like why am i having difficulty screwing this on hey joel ow <laughs> i don't get it i don't get it is it supposed to stick out like that oh maybe oh okay i see you oh i'm doing it yes and she did it and she did it and she did it i just had to really force it in i didn't want to like break it but i guess okay right, let's do the other one now this should be a little bit more easy Oh, it's taking me way longer than it really should. Bam, that one was done in two seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have this big piece here. Now I gotta screw on the... Oh, I hate that sound, that sound of metal clashing. Oh, I can't stand it. It's like almost as bad as nails on a chalkboard. So gotta put these on. Oh, oh. This is like hard to do alone, because it's like... Emotionist. Joel! Ah, this is so hard! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm not even gonna try. I don't wanna like crash into anything and then I don't want anything breaking. Thank you. Okay, she's standing, people. So now I just gotta attach this bar along the bottom. So I gotta put the bar like this. So this is what this squiggly tool is for. Oh, uh, I see you. Okay. Okay, she's not secure at all yet, but I'm just gonna put the other side on so that I can secure them. Yeah, she's tight on this side now. Let's do the other side and finish it off. And she's done, ladies and gentlemen. A round of applause. Oh, she's so cute. Yeah, she's sturdy. Look at how cute she is. Okay, so the thing is, is that I don't really have like a place to put her in my room to just actively hold her. Like I really don't have a place in my room. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, <laughs> but I know that I would wanna use it for try on hauls and stuff. So. It's probably just gonna end up literally in a random spot in my room at all times. So we'll see how that works out, but I'm so excited to have it. <laughs> also got these cute ass hangers that we're gonna put on it. Comes the award goes to me. My God, this looks so cute. I love the look of clothing racks. I think that they look so cute. Okay, so I thought that the white ones would kind of look cute intertwined. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, this looks so cute. Okay, she cute. I'm going to hang up um, some clothing that I'm going to be doing a try on haul for soon. Not going to expose the brand quite yet because you guys will see soon. So I'm going to hang them up right now. <laughs> ah! Levi, go get her. Levi, go get her, Levi. Levi, come here. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Ah! Oh my big boy! Levi! Oh. <laughs> oh, he's attacking! Oh, he's biting me! He's ripping me! Good boy, buddy! So we are currently at my sister's friend's house because she has a puppy and we're just like dog sitting it for a bit, like an hour or whatever. And oh my goodness, I forgot how energetic puppies are and how much they just literally love to chew on everything. This is Levi. Oh, big boy. Who is that? But yeah, Zeus is like six years old, so I forgot. What are you? Ow! So nibbly. Because he's probably in his teething phases. Hey guys, what is up? It's currently 12.40. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This morning I slept in, didn't do anything, didn't do my yoga, didn't do my walk, didn't do anything besides be literally lazy and listen to my body because this morning I woke up, I wanted to sleep in. Yeah, and it's a Monday, which is like really rare because usually Mondays I'm like, 
but it is a like long weekend so i think i had that in the back of my head i was just listening to my body because i just didn't want to wake up today i wanted to sleep in i didn't want to do yoga i didn't want to go on my walk because it was boring right and that's fine i'm not going to hold myself accountable and i'm not going to make myself feel guilty for listening to my body and not wanting to do that and not doing that i'm not going to feel guilty for it if your body is telling you something don't feel guilty for listening to it once in a while if your body needs a break or if your body needs extra rest then it's perfectly okay to listen to it and not feel guilty about it so that's my little mood for the day haven't got anything down up to date <laughs> yet i have a gym appointment at four and i don't think i'm gonna go i think i'm gonna cancel it and that's fine but what i am gonna do today is we're gonna go grocery shopping and i also really want to make this mushroom vegan wild rice soup it looks so good so i'm gonna make that with you guys later today yeah that's pretty much like all that i have actually planned for today just gonna get ready to go to superstore and we're gonna be out of here also i did something like different to my hair i put it in two little pigtails and i feel like i never do anything different to my hair like i always leave it down that's all that i do so i was feeling a little bit something different so that's why i did this honestly whenever i switch up my hairstyle a few hours into the day i end up feeding it and then i end up switching it so i might take this out in a couple hours so it might not last that long but for now kind of dating it this is my lazy fit of the day don't think i can get lazier than this <laughs> my go-to literally is always just like a tracksuit, a hoodie, and sweatpants. It's just always going to be my go-to no matter what because it's just so comfy and like, I don't know, I feel so good wearing tracksuits. It just makes me feel so confident and comfy. That's a little hint to what's coming in the future. Okay, so I just found these ranch chips on the counter, so I'm going to try them real quick for you because I've never tried ranch chips before. She says, I just found these ranch chips. I did. I found them at Superstore like about a week and a half ago. I did. I okay, them no, out. yeah, Joel pointed them out, so I don't even know what is she. How did I found them on the counter? Oh, I found, uh, found <laughs> Wow. Are they good? Mm-hmm. Hey, guys, so we're currently in the grocery store, and it is so busy. I forgot that it was, uh, like, a holiday today, so everyone's out shopping because no one is working. It's so crowded. Obviously, not this aisle. It is, like, a huge grocery store, so there are some more quiet aisles, but so freaking busy in here. So we want to try and be in and out. Okay, so you guys know how I'm, like, I'm literally obsessed with the barista's own um, oat milk, like it's the one that Starbucks uses. Well, I found this one, and it's, like, a soy version, and it's half of the price for soy milk one, so I just bought one to try it and to see how it tastes. So next time I make a coffee with it, I'll let you guys know. So hard. Dude, why are you going back? Because I just bit your back down. That's... These look <laughs> so intriguing. Ooh, oh look. Whenever I go to the grocery store and I see cool things, I like want to try everything. I'm gonna give you guys a grocery haul when we're home because the last time I didn't give you guys one because there was just too much shit, but I will try and give you guys one when I get home. Okay, we just got back from shopping. Joel's just putting the cart away and I wish you guys could have seen how long the line was. It went all the way to the back of the store. It moved quickly, but the store is so big and the line went to the back of the store. But Probably a hundred yards. They had like all the cashiers on, which was good, so it went fast. This is like a throwback from my other vlog when we were drinking kombucha after going grocery shopping. If this explodes, I'm gonna cry, so I'm gonna open this outside. The other kombucha has like 60 calories. Hey guys, welcome to our mukbang. So today we are mm. trying the matcha flavored green tea pokies, whatever you wanna say. Oh, this kombucha is better than the regular kombucha. Yeah, and it has less calories. This one's waterier than the regular one that we it get. It tastes more like yummy flavored though. This one is so good. It tastes more like juice mm. than real authentic kombucha. It's not as strong, but it's really good. Let me try the matcha. They're matcha po pokies, pokies? Give me one. They're green they're matcha. next they smell like matcha they taste like matcha yeah. they do obviously now we're tasting the cookies and cream mm -hmm. they're chocolate sticks cookies and cream mm. i love strawberry flavored things out wow. of the three mm -hmm. wow so we all came to terms that because it's a rainy day we're all feeling a little bit bummed out bummed out like not even because of the rain just like the rain puts us in that mood but we all just feel the same vibes today and that's okay we're just gonna have a chill day i'm gonna make some mushroom creamy cozy soup it's gonna be a good night and then we can huddle up and watch a movie got to take these lazy rainy days to our advantage and be cozy and oh i just can't wait for the soup it's gonna be so good cheers to that I look like a leg okay we're currently at the pet store because her she needs more food and we found her this bed and she would love it she loves to be like scrunched up in a ball like she likes to be in in, in, in caves. 
and I feel like she would love this. I would love to see her curl up in a bowl. She would feel so warm. Oh my gosh, it needs to happen. And we just had to also get her more bowls because right now her bowls are connected. So her food has been like going in her water and it looks really disgusting and poor thing. I don't want her drinking like food and water. So then we can like spread them out more like this because she's a messy eater. Yeah, just like me. That is so true. You guys, when I move out, the first animal I'm getting is a cat. Like they're so low maintenance. They're so cuddly and cute. That's gonna be my first animal just because it doesn't really tie you down when you get a cat rather than a dog is like so much more work. Okay, so we just got back from the grocery store and I'm gonna give you guys a massive haul, but I'm gonna do it really like speed ozone, you know what I mean? So it's gonna be really quick, but I'm gonna show you guys literally everything we got. All the bags are taking over literally the whole table. So I'm gonna go through it really fast before we put everything away. Okay, juice pack, another juice pack, another juice pack, nectarines, egg whites, four cans of coconut milk, maple syrup, sourdough bread, goldfish, good thins, three of these, Nature Valley granola bars, taco shells because I wanna make tacos sometime this week, oatmeal, decaf Earl Grey tea, arugula, vegan sausages, almond milk, oat milk, sour cream and onion veggie straws, strawberries, barbecue chickpeas, screaming hot, veggie sticks, brown and wild rice, a whole load of mushrooms for my recipe tonight, snap peas, these are so good, vegan mozzarella, this brand is literally the best if you guys are looking for a good vegan cheese, Breeze's own soy milk, vegetable broth, water, melon, this one's so heavy, it's literally, ugh. Like a baby. And then we also got hummus, but Madison is eating it right now, so I'm not gonna steal that from her. That's basically it. I think I showed everything. Oh, I missed the bag. Spicy mayo, tortillas, popcorn, Pam coconut oil spray, and sriracha. And that is it, I'm pretty sure. Um, But yeah, I'm just gonna put away all of the groceries now. I'll talk to you guys later when I'm making the soup. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm prepping the food right now, and I'm just about to cut up a white onion. And y'all, they affect my eyes so much. Like, I cannot cut up white onions in specific without wearing goggles. Like, I'm not even joking. You, I have to wear goggles when I cut them because my eyes will sting so bad. My eyes can't handle it. I can't even, I can't even do it. I literally, <laughs> I literally have to get speedo. Uh, mm. Let's get cutting onions. Oh my God, this is so funny. What if someone just walked in the kitchen and I'm here like this, like cutting an onion? Okay, so now I need to let this saute. I actually really enjoy cooking. Just the only thing that I don't like about it is like the cleanup afterwards. It just makes a lot of mess, especially when I do it because I like to prep everything before I cook so that like I have all the ingredients ready and chopped and ready to go. So that's the only thing that I don't like about cooking is the cleaning. But other than that, it's actually really like therapeutic and fun to cook. But like you can see how much mess this makes. Also pro tip, I really like to watch like Netflix or YouTube while I cook um, and like prep the vegetables and whatever. Obviously like don't chop your finger off if you're paying too much attention to the show or whatever, but it's just a fun time, especially if you cook with someone. It's so fun. Okay, now I just gotta bring the pot to a boil. It shouldn't take too long. Hey guys, so I literally just made myself a tea. It's a London Fog. If you guys have never had it, you need to try one. If you make it at home, it's way cheaper. Um, I kind of videoed how I did it, so I'm gonna run you guys through it real quick. Basically, you take an Earl Grey tea bag. I just did decaf because it's late, so I don't wanna like decaffeinate it before I go to bed. And then I soaked it in hot water, obviously. Let that sit, and while I let that sit, I took my milk frother and I took almond milk and I filled it just below the first line. And then I took my oat milk creamer, which is like super, super thick. And I just filled that until it filled up the whole first line. And then I frothed it. While that's frothing, I put in about two to three tablespoons of maple syrup in it to sweeten it. Beware, because I like my things like really sweet. So you might want to like adjust the sweetness to however you like. So start <laughs> small. And then once it's done frothing, you add the milk to the tea. And you guys, you have to try this. It is literally so good. It's been my favorite drink to unwind with lately and just have like before bed. It's literally so good. Anyways, so I want to do a little bit of a moment with Michaela with my tea. So basically, I just wanted to talk about intuition. It's basically your gut feeling. When you make a decision, it's like you can choose A or B. Your intuition, like your gut always knows which one it is, but we choose sometimes to not follow it. 
even though we know it's wrong you know what i mean and throughout the past year i've realized how important it is to follow your gut feeling because it always knows best if you follow your intuition you can never go wrong and sometimes your intu intuition is going to be telling you something completely different of what you're actually going to want to hear but sometimes it's worth it to trust your intuition and take that leap of faith to whatever it's telling you to do that just means that it's trying to lead you in the right direction whether it's what you expected or not it's so important to trust that gut feeling of yours i believe that like that gut feeling your intuition is like a higher version of yourself an extension of consciousness like of you but it's like a higher version of yourself that is like girl i know what you need to do here puts that gut feeling inside of you and obviously we still have free will so you can choose whether you want to follow your intuition or whether you don't but i'm just here to encourage you guys to really listen to what your intuition is telling you what your gut is telling you and try to follow that as best as possible because it's telling you that for a reason and so many people choose to ignore it because they're scared of maybe of following their intuition because it's not what they wanted to hear or it's not following society and that's a big one like when i was when i wanted to drop out of school it was either a drop out or it didn't and my intuition was like yes 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 like my gut feeling like i knew i had to drop out like i knew it was right for me and deep inside like i knew it was like a no-brainer but then there was that other half of me that was like oh shit so i'm gonna be a school dropout like what the heck am i doing like is this smart society says that i should stay in school and all this stuff and i could have easily ignored my intuition my that gut feeling telling me like this is right for you like this is what you're supposed to do i decided to follow my intuition and it's led me here to the most beautiful, happiest mental place state that I've ever been in in my whole entire life. And I, that was the best decision that I could have ever made in my life. And I think that was the biggest decision that I've ever made in my life, to be completely honest. And obviously when I dropped out, like I was looked down upon. I talked about this in like my why I dropped out of school video, but if I didn't listen to my intuition, I don't know where I would be today. And that's so scary to me because even though it was so hard to listen to my intuition and, and what my gut feeling was telling me, even though it was so hard to do that because of what society was telling me, it felt so good to do it and it felt so good. I felt like I just like kind of broke free from society and what society, societal norms and all that. And I, for the first time in my life, I was doing what I wanted for me only. I wasn't doing it for society. I wasn't doing it for my family. I was doing it for no one but myself. If you have not already, you will come into these similar types of situations in your life where you have to make a big decision. My advice for you is follow your intuition, follow your gut feeling because that is always gonna be what is gonna lead you into the right path. It's just so important to, and I feel like we don't get taught this in school. I don't, never really hear much about following your intuition, but it's just so, so, so important to at least listen to it and acknowledge it realize the power that you hold within yourself and it's so important to make decisions for yourself because a lot of the time a lot of people are going to be against you your family could be against you your friends could be against your decisions but as long as it's going to make you happy and here and as long as you know it's the right thing do it okay do it i've learned that it's pointless to care about what other people think because at the end of the day they're not you why would you let other people control your decisions, your actions, when they're not you. You have the right to do whatever you want to do. You have to find that confidence within yourself to know that you can make whatever decision you want to make. You can do whatever you want to do regardless of what anyone says because you're your own person. And that's something that I've come to realize is that when making a decision or whatever, whatever I want to do in life, it's like, there's gonna be so many people against you. There's gonna be so many people that are gonna just maybe even not like you for no reason. There's gonna be so many people against the decisions that you're gonna make you can't live your life based on other people's opinions of you or you're not going to be living your own life because if you make decisions based off of other people's opinions of you it's literally not going to be your life anymore it's so important to sit down and assess what your intuition is telling you what your gut feeling is telling you and follow that follow your heart okay don't follow your brain sometimes it's more important to follow what's in here than what's up here think about it we're brought up in this society we're brought up to think a certain way our brains are literally programmed we went from to school from kindergarten to grade 12 at least like high school and we're programmed to think a certain way so our brain is very very programmed and when something in here tells us what to do, obviously our brain is gonna question that because we're so programmed. 100% of the time, what's in here is what's gonna lead you on the right path. Pierre is trying to fight with down here because it's so programmed to society and to whatever you've been taught from since you were born. And that all goes 
hand in hand like doubts with your worries with getting anxious about something stressing over something even though deep down you always know what the right decision is i think it's just so important to listen to your heart and your soul rather than your brain sometimes because your brain sometimes does really work out of fear fear of lots of things so it is honestly very scary sometimes to listen to your intuition and to fully follow that path but i promise you you guys if you do and if you kind of cut off the connection from here to here sometimes and do what's best for you i promise you things will get better and work out know that you have so much power within yourself and know that your intuition is so 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 strong and i've learned this from experience and yeah i just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about intuition because I feel like I've never really brought that up before but it's so funny I feel like my intuition since I started listening to it it has gone so 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 strong within the past like couple years yeah it's honestly so amazing of course I want you guys to feel amazing so that's why I'm sharing this with you guys um thank you for joining my tea talk get it TED talk tea talk <laughs> mm. This is so good, you guys. I swear to God. Please go make one if you guys have never before. It is literally so good. You can also like order them at Starbucks or wherever. I think Tim Hortons has them as well. But literally so good. I'm just going to enjoy my tea. And I'm probably going to watch Vampire Diaries for the rest of the night. Maybe some YouTube and just maybe journal and relax. But yeah, I'm going to end the vlog off here. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.